Hello, my friends. This is Alina. And uh, I scored three out of the four jewelry jars they had. Um, they had one for like $70. It was ridiculous. Um, all of them are most have a lot of watches in them. So, but I did see some silver, and there's apparently a spoon in this one, which is okay. And I thought I would open this one and see what's in here. Kind of excited. Ah. The official cutting. Yeah. This looks silver. some rings. This one's just a fashion ring. Uh, my sleeves up. Just a big hammered styled fashion ring. Got some wear on it. A little stretchy. Can you hear that? Not sure what that is, a spring. And I've seen some teacher's bracelets in here. This isn't one of them. Wish God and all things are possible. Oh, with God. My bad. It's a nice little bracelet. I think it's silver though. Nope. So, everybody getting ready for spring? I know I am. Oh, this is the teacher one. Teacher, wisdom, inspire. It's got a little heart that says teacher on it. Some little plastic crystals. And faux pearls. That's cute. This definitely looks like silver. I get my loop. Yep. Very teeny tiny. Very teeny tiny right there. It says 925. I don't think I can get that to show. In fact, I can't even see what stones these are. They look like sapphires. And it looks like a stamp right there. Yep, 925. Let's see if it passes the magnet test. Looks like it. Oh. I'm not sure now. Got a little bit of a pull. Well, that's a bummer. It's still pretty. Oops. A little triangle. I don't know if those are blue or black. But I'll give it a test later. And a little sparkly ring. Oh, it's a big one. Oh, it fits. Oh. In our first tingle of the morning. Yeah, I 
belly button thing. And before I came over here to do this, I was checking my little jewelry groups I belong to. See what's going on. This is just a inexpensive, really inexpensive looking at this filigree right here. I belong to a group, I've been there, I don't know how many years, like four years. Um, Bisu Boutique Creative Group. Um, it's a jewelry making group. Um, she has a lot of YouTube videos, lots of them, on uh, how to, and she sells a lot of stuff like this, but hers are really well made. Let's look at this, it just bends. She's a, an inspirational woman. She started her own business. All by herself. This is cool. She also um, has a 1928 line called Bisous with 1928, where she sells a lot of the components for 1928. Um, but her real passion is Marion Haskell. A lot of the stuff she makes is in a Marion Haskell way. Um, she even has a class that she teaches so you can learn how to do it. It's an online class. She's a very smart lady, very, very business, very business-like. So. This is just a little silver tone bracelet. This star. I used to make a lot more jewelry and I just haven't. It's, it's not silver. You can see the copper underneath sticking through. It's still kind of cute. I think it's got a stone missing. Looks like a couple. Almost looks like the same stones as this piece. Not sure. I don't think it's silver. Hmm. I don't know. And then they have this chain. This is a nice new chain. It's not Napier or, oh, wait. It does say something. WCJ Stainless. I think is what it says. It looks kind of worn. I don't know if you can see it. Right there. It's really nice, shiny. It's good, good for putting on the any pendants you have. And a sparkly bangle. Gosh, I never get one of these with mine. This is a Scorpio, Alex and Annie. Really good shape. Good logo. Oh, stretchy AB rhinestone bracelet. This is missing a piece. I have another one like this that has uh, amethyst on it. So that's, I know that it's missing something. And it's not silver. But I do know what it looks like. It's kind of a half moon. 
I had to glue the other one in because it was separate from the, the pendant, which I guess is, I see now is a norm for this necklace. Another little bangle. Another little stretchy. This one kind of losing its stretch. Over here is fine, but over here it's kind of losing its stretch. Another bangle. I know I'm going to be pulling out a lot of watches. Because every jar I got has a lot of watches. This is kind of cool. Definitely worn. Or maybe that's the way it's supposed to look. I don't know. Maybe if I clean it up, it'll look better. It's kind of cool. They look like little... I'm not sure. There's a part of me that wants to say leaves. Because this way it looks like a leaf. Might be just leaves. Little, little chubby leaves. I'm just picking off the top, hoping that I don't have a lot of tangles this way. It's just a sparkly, napier. Let's see if you can see that. It says napier. Color style. So it got all the stones? important. Looks like it. Yeah. I wonder if this is a newer piece. It's very pretty, though. Almost looks like a giant bracelet. Oh, very nice. Kind of throwing the earrings off to the side. So this reminds me of Claire's. This style. I'm not saying it's bad. Just saying it's, you know, Claire's. Little flowers with rhinestones. Looks like it's bent. It's pretty, sparkly. No name or anything. Looks like all the rhinestones are there. a really super lightweight chain. Pretty long. Jude Duvero, the Raider. No idea. It's got like a little mask and a hat. This must be from like a TV show or something. I don't know. And then there's Berkeley. Rhinestones. Looks like everything's there. It's pretty sparkly. 
lot of sparkly stuff in here. Some earrings. And that's over. I got something written on there. Maybe the wires are. Seven five FAS. Hmm. You don't know, and they're pretty sparkly though. Little crystals. CZs. Oh look, and the rhinestones go to the back too. That's pretty nice. Might clean those up and wear them today. Little Dreamcatcher keychain and a bangle, sturdier bangle. This is interesting. I think it's silver. I don't know. It's got like leather wrapped around it and wire. Kind of nice. Doesn't have any kind of marks in it. Looks like there was a sticker there. I'm not sure. I will give it a test. What is this? Some leaves. <laughs> Just kind of dangly leaves. It came off of something. Wow. And a sparkly ring. A little bangle. I haven't gotten any bangles for a while, so. I'm not complaining. I'm also not super excited about it. This doesn't have a name either. Just a little three layered with little jingles. It needs a washing. And then just a chain. Just a silver tone chain. belt in here. No. A button cover. Another little dream catcher necklace with faux turquoise. A rollo chain that I'll probably repurpose. Looks like it broke. I love rollo chains. It's actually like one of my favorite chains to use when I make jewelry. Matter Figaro. Just a little bangle with little seed beads. This is a belt. I'm not sure. Maybe a necklace? I'm thinking belt. No? I guess it's a necklace. What do you think? It's got a lot of hearts. It'd be for a really small waist. Just a fashion piece. Nothing real. Real pricey.
I was going to point out this earring before I go on. <laughs> Look at this thing. This thing's huge. Of course, it probably won't be a match to it because they don't match earrings at this goodwill, but look at that. That's an earring. It could, like, be a pendant. Plastic bangle. This one's interesting. Don't think it's silver, though. There's no marking. Not sure. Smells like silver. Probably silver plated, but I haven't tested anything in a while, so. And here's a little Claire's inklet. It says Claire's and the butterfly. Bangle. Little wire bracelet with some crystals. This little necklace with kind of a yellowy green heart or flowers. Heart. This looks like Claire's too, but it doesn't say. Just a silver tone chain. I've never found a real silver one that has an extender. So. Uh, somebody took this old piece and added seed beads to it. I guess try to make it a bracelet. to the watchers yet. Another one of these. Button covers. Another one. Uh, silver tone ring. Some mark. Not sure. This is tiny. Even for me. Probably it's like a size four. Four and a half, maybe five. And a little crystalline pearl jabby. It's cute. And the first watch for today. Not in very good shape. Front's all scratched up. Not even gonna take time to figure it out because it looks terrible. A little double finger ring says love just a little fashion piece one of these i'm not really a big fan of these i know there's people out there that like this style i guess it's just not me Not really sure what this is. Is it a keychain? I'm not sure. Did I just mess it up? Possibly. I'm not gonna mess with it anymore. I think that's how light. It's got a chip. I'm wearing a. This is a sterling silver bracelet. This has got Colorado turquoise from Cripple Creek. If 
from the bad from the mine called the Bad Boys of Cripple Creek. I went there. I'm gonna say, well, probably like 20 years ago and mined my own turquoise. I have a little jar full. We cleaned it up, got all the dirt off of it for me. It was, it was fun. Another little rhinestone necklace. I don't think they do it anymore because they found a, a silver vein in their turquoise mine. So from my understanding, they've stopped letting people go in, but I don't know, that was like 20 years ago. I seen them at a rock show and they were talking about their, the vein of silver that runs through their mine. They were pretty excited. This is cute. I don't like the ribbon going through, but I like the color of it. But it's all plasticky. Yeah, this might be a good craft for a craft lot. This little worn out necklace. Really worn. Looks like it came from a stretchy. A little safety pin with rhinestones. That does open. Can be used as a pendant, I guess. That's cute. A clamper. Looks like a belt. Pretty worn. Look, another button cover. <laughs> wow, this massively huge ring with blue striping in it. I think it's stainless. Look at that. Let me find out how big this is. It's like a 13 and a half. Nope, 13 and a quarter. That's huge. Huh. Another ring. Gosh, I got a lot of rings in here. It's just a fashion adjustable ring. Looks like I had something on here to look, make it look shiny and it's wearing off. And another little ring. Must be a real diamond, right? Oh my gosh, it's tiny. It'll fit on this finger. There, look. <laughs> oh, I bet this goes with this. No? Just another stretchy. Bit. And a... Made in Italy. I'm guessing that's Jesus. I don't know any Catholic. Wait, I think there's boobs. Excuse me, but it looks like there is. This might be Mary. So. No disrespect. Just something I just noticed. Just one of these things. a really worn out piece of necklace with really worn. You can see the copper coming through. Just gotta throw that in crafting. Oh, this almost matches my ring, huh? Just another costume piece with probably either crystals or CZs. I remember when 
when CZs first came out there. It was pretty exciting. I think uh, the shopping channel, QVC or something, was the first, one of the first ones to have them. They called them Diamoniques. I remember I wanting one really bad, but not buying one. This just looks like a handmade bracelet. And another watch. I was expecting. This one says China. And it's in pretty bad shape. Aha. Oh, I got a fork. <laughs> a Rogers and Brothers fork. Probably silver plated. That's cute. It's so tiny. How many people get forks? Oh, and a spoon. I'm all set to eat. I can't see what one this is. Another Rogers and Brother. It's so weird that they put silverware in here. Look at this. I suppose you can make a spoon ring out of this one. I don't know if that would make a very nice spoon ring. More bangles. Lots of bangles. Interesting. This one has a heart. This one has a bead. This one looks like it has a leftover earring. I'm thinking somebody. Repurposed that. I'm trying to see this one. Another ring. Looks just like a fashion ring. Definitely. It's huge. For me, anyways, it's huge. <laughs> One of the most rings I've gotten in them forever. Uh, really poorly conditioned. Oh, I don't know. It says 95 Tax Co. I've got a feeling this is alpaca. Huh? Huh? Magnet says something. I will definitely test this one. It's just kind of got that alpaca look in the middle. Nothing crazy exciting. A little springtime beaded necklace. Reminds me of Sherbert. Love friend forever. Oh, this is like the teacher one, but for friends. Okay. Made by the same people, I guess. Something that broke. I'm not sure what that was. But something definitely broke. Maybe a cross or something. I definitely like this little bead though. Angle. Little bracelet says mother. Claire's. Yep. Claire's. 
We have some watches out here. At least one. Really scratched up old Timex. Just says base metal. Stretchy. Another bangle. Another bangle and this is made to look like wire, but it's not wire. Or is it? Oh, it is. Huh. That's interesting. Smaller bangles. Lots of bangles. This is an intertwined bangle in a geometric shape. It's kind of cool. This looks like it's Premier Designs. Yep, there's a little Premier Design. So this came off of something. This is Alice Seeley. Never heard of her. That looks like Mary and Jesus and some priests. I'm not sure. Looks kind of like pewter. Another bangle. A magnetic clamper. It's kind of cool. And this little, a very lightweight bracelet. <clears throat> Got a lot of bracelets in here. And this is just a mesh. It's not stretchy or anything, so I'm not sure what you would use that for. Unless you can just slide it on. Just another silver tone bracelet, nothing on it. These would be great to put charms on, make little charm bracelets. Another bangle. Right, this thing's really lightweight. Reminds me of like a soda can. Oh, look. Another spoon. Oh, this one has our state flower on it. It says CC. It's engraved. And it's got columbines on it. So weird. Another one of these. A relic watch. This one's in pretty good shape. Stainless steel. This one's pretty nice. I'll keep that one out. 
Oh, I found the match to the other ring. It's like two different colors. Oh, wait. And another one. Somebody liked these. There's another sparkly. Ring. Hmm. This one had a safety chain, and it looks like something's supposed to go here. It does say something right there. Let me see what it says. Oh, it's a Whitting and Davis. I wonder if that means it's silver. Nope, it's not silver. I'll have to check this one out. It looks like something's missing. This doesn't seem right. Hmm. More of these. <laughs> Some I really like the button covers. F. Hines? Never heard of it. Looks like it's in good shape. I'll check that one out too. Scarf brooch. Another bangle. Big one. Huh. This looks like it goes on a belt buckle. Could possibly be turquoise. I don't know. And silver. I'm gonna have to test this one. Huh. Interesting. Part of a broken watch. Oh. <laughs> My guess. Is this part went with it. Oh, a little chair brooch with little rhinestones. It says something here on the back. Let me move the pin. If I can get it right. It's got something. Get it the right way. I can't read it. Something about a library, though. Library. No, I can't read it. The, oh, the Vatican Library something. So, it's hard to read because it needs cleaning. So I'll have to research that. I have no idea. Something Vatican Library, though. Pretty cool. Just a bead. Really sad looking ring. Something purple in it. I don't think it's silver, but it might be. Just really sad looking. Yeah. Use a cleaning.
Found some silver, right? More of these. Fanny's been interested in those beauties. <laughs> you know where I'm at. And a cute little Easter brooch and pewter with little AB stones on their little bums. That's cute. Guessing this is a button made into a ponytail. Gosh, a big silver tone ring. God, this thing's huge too. Size 10. Definitely not silver. You can see the copper coming through. Another diamond. Woo. And lots of diamonds here. How about that, huh? <laughs> oh, is this silver? Nope. Just an inexpensive little ring. Little bead. Something busted. Looks like part of an earring, wire wrapped. Another little inexpensive ring. It says something on it. What the heck? <clears throat> well, it's got a cross. Oh. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Is that the Lord's Prayer? I'm thinking something like that. It's a little tiny ring. You could almost wear it just on a chain. Another broken piece of a stretchy. More to the watch. Just another ring, just a fashion ring. It's got most of the coppers worn off. That's an earring. This one says trust and it has a bunch of little blue rhinestones. I believe this goes on like a chain. And a reach for the stars. Hope, wisdom, inspiration, courage, and faith. A little coin. Another big ring. Wow. I think this is like, it keeps showing <clears throat> like a dark, dark brown color. It's pretty. Getting blinged up here. Cuff earring. Ah. Cuff and pierced earring. More of that watch. Down to the littles here. I'm sorry. The arc. Got a C, and it looks almost like a dollar sign, and it says 925. Little pendant. I think this is an earring. Yep. And there's two of them. I don't know how I got that out. That's interesting. Oh, it's got a mark. If I get it the right way. Goodness. I 
see 925 and it's got more. It says, looks like 50. And then there's a word. I can't read it. Looks like TUA, I'm not sure. It's got quite a glare. And then there's a little symbol. It's got a lot of writing right there. I'll have to look these up when I don't have the bright light. And another, oh, Mother Teresa of Calcutta. That's pretty cool. Pray for us, Italy. This looks like silver. It's just like a bead. It smells like silver, too. We'll have to check that one out. Not really sure. Or this. Another one of these. I have two of them. So they're a mystery. Just a little broken vintage something. Another belly button thingy. Throw that away. One of these rings where it changes colors. Look how that sticks out. I would smack that every time. Little arrow pendant with some rhinestones. More of these beads, I'm guessing something broke. There's another one. Mm. Ah, this is what broke off that one necklace. I'm still gonna take that one piece though. It's buried. A little Mickey Mouse earring. I don't know if that's silver. Might be. It's got CZs in it, so that's what I'm thinking. Just a component with rhinestones. Two of these little earrings. Gosh, there's something written on it. It's so tiny. Pretty sure it says nine two five, but it's something else. That I cannot read. I think it says Italy, but I can't, I'm gonna have to go in a different light. It's so bright outside, it's too shiny. Something else to check though, right? Mm -hmm. And a little pistol charm. I don't think it's silver, but nope. Another little silver tone ring. And another diamond. Gosh. I'm all glitzed out now. Woo! <laughs> Not too bad of a jar. I have some earrings over here. I never got a match to this one. Or this one. Or this one. It could be in one of the other two jars I have. And I have these. They're not a match. Not a match. This one's got a mark too. Oh, it's 
Tversky. It's got a little tiny swan right there. I hope I find them, this one in another jar. It's cute. And these big honking hoops. There's rhinestones. <coughs> and a sewing machine wine glass charm. And then, I believe this is it. I think that's it. Yep. So not too bad, the jar. I mean, look, I got silverware. It's neat. This looks like it might be for grapefruit or something. Oh, kind of like it. I found this really super interesting. And this one. I'm definitely going to have to do some research and this, research on this one, I had some testing to do, figure out what these are, more testing, definitely testing, going to have to figure out what this is, no clue, and this ring, oh, and that the rest is pretty much just custom jewelry. I do like the bunnies. It's just coming up, you know. Lots of rings. Probably the most rings I've ever gotten. Ever. I kind of like these, too. Don't judge. So, oops. This is silver, too. That's silver. And these I'm going to check. Just not sure. This smells so much like silver, but not a mark. Probably isn't. But couldn't hurt. Time with this one. So I'm hoping these are in one of the other two jars. So, like I said, I bought three out of the four. The fourth one was $70, and I thought, yeah, no, that's just way too much. Way too much. So, and it was just like mostly watches. Just lots of watches. So, anyways, that was a fun jar. I'm going to have some fun looking up stuff and testing stuff and figuring out stuff. Definitely. I'm going to try to read these better. Not sure. They're cool. I like cool. And I can't read those at all. <laughs> tiny, tiny. So thank you for joining me. Um, I don't know if any of you belong to any of the jewelry groups. I belong to Anita Fnitas. Um, it's a nice little group. It's mostly people posting their our openings and stuff. Um, I do like uh, Texas Gals group. I think that's probably my favorite one. It's more interactive. There's no mod approving, so that's a bonus. Um, and it's just friendly. Just a lot of great gals there. So I really enjoy that group. And I guess that is it. Ooh, an hour long. This one, it's going to take forever to upload. Thank you for joining me. Peace, love. And see you next video.